We're back with you for Monday Night Raw. The confrontation between Shane McMahon and Chris Jericho last week proves that some battles don't happen between Bell. There's another battle going on away from the ring, JR. The Diva Search Contest. The finalists were announced this morning, and I've already voted for my favorite on WWE.com two dozen times. I wonder just how often you have to replace your match, King. These are my top suspects. I don't care who I upset. The WWE Championship means everything to me. And the masked man cost me it. Who should I question first? That's assault, man. I should go and tell- Don't talk. Listen. The masked man wears camo, and I know all about your military past, Randy. And knowing you, you'll take any shortcut to become WWE Champion. Shane already cleared me of any suspicion. I am clean. You've got nothing on me. Jericho, I've got some good news for you. My people have zeroed in on someone without an alibi. Sounds suspicious to me. Go meet him in the ring now. Oh. And you're welcome. Fast 
they don't see how basically Bobby gets Chris Jericho any close to finding out who screwed him at the Royal Rumble. The only thing facing Umaga gets you closer to is an early retirement. Oh, that's a brutal headbutt. What a counter! And he lights up his opponent's chest with that chopper. What a fierce hit! Ow! What an elbow! And he made the most of it with that DDT. Shane McMahon has cleared Randy Orton of the situation. But I don't know what that means. If it really means anything at all. Chris Jericho can be 100% certain about two things. First, no one's going to help me find out who that mask man is. And second, facing the manga isn't a fun way to spend your Monday night. I think fatigue is set in here, King. I don't think this is going to last too much long. Disguise his size, JR. More like Shane on Mac is messing with Jericho. It wouldn't be the first time. He had no good answers for me. That scum is definitely still a prime suspect.